Well, it's a Saturday morning. And we got a few folks up already with a little coffee and try not to wake up everybody else. Somebody's probably jumped in and taken a shower or so. You hear the water pump kicking away? Pumping up the water pressure and getting it so everybody can take a shower. I'll show you what we've done in the uh, rec room. <laughs> rec room, recreation room. But in this case, it's actually a rec. We've torn it all apart and we're cleaning and wiping it all out. You can see we absolutely have torn it to pieces and we're scraping away on it. So that's after we flake off the old and then we put the OSFO on it. One of the younger volunteers out here, it's gonna be windy here for a second, was working on making a bench so that we could actually move some of the vegetables and garden stuff off of the workbench in the back. So we're gonna take this board that we have and he welded up, learned how to weld yesterday, these legs. So we'll mount these legs on the bottom of that board, put it up against one of the better lit windows and um, have ourselves a, a new garden area. Mm. Good coffee. So the young man, he learned how to use a drill press with the right safety gear and ground and cut and, and welded. So we also got uh, good progress on the big old generator here in the back. I'll walk you back there. You know, you, to put things in order, you have to tear things apart. So as we worked on the big Jenny, one of the things that we did was we stuck a new temperature gauge on it. And also uh, with the help of one of our volunteers, who's got about 30 years experience working on Detroit diesels, we were able to figure out how to adjust the speed control. It's still set a little high, but we can actually hit the button, which I won't do because everybody's still asleep. That would not be nice. And it will start up, automatically set its speed. Currently it's set to 1440, and we need it down to 1200. So we know how to adjust it now. So, like I say, two steps forward, one step back. Two steps forward, one step back. Isn't that life? kind of how it is you know with all the nonsense that's going on in the news nowadays it's kind of nice to have something that's just straightforward and simple like uh, resistance heating how's that for a segue here's the old resistance heaters that were all along the walls they take a lot of wattage about 18,000 watts when they're all turned on and they will make a room nice and toasty and they're just like they're like an iron they're like a old electric range where you run current through the, the wire and it gets hot on the range you know what i'm talking about those old spirally ones that you used to see a long time ago and those are just straight ones that when that big generator is running and we have it hooked up it'll be idling away and powering all those things in the middle of the winter so even though it doesn't get as cold on the tower as it does on shore it still gets cold Especially while we don't have the doors carried out here. So we will get the doors carried out. And um, today, right now, it's wonderfully comfortable. So I don't have to have on my little Milwaukee electrically heated jacket. But that was nice last night when the wind was whipping. And we are all sitting on the helipad. But anyway, it's a Saturday. And uh, when they all get up, we'll see if we can turn the rec room into a recreation room and have ourselves a nice uh, low country boil tonight uh, courtesy of the guys that let's see if I can get this right salt water market anyway it's a mouthful I'll, I'll show you their information they were kind enough to provide us with all the fixings hopefully we do it justice hmm time for another cup hmm Good stuff.